inviting you to the hangover. I, I still want to call it shots. <laughs> no. Well, I know, I know. It's the hangout, but no, it's <laughs> it's the hangover. I know Just... it's the hangover, but um, uh... oh, oh, you didn't have the intro music. It didn't play with the video. All right. I guess that's something I got to look into. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, Mr. Riddle. So, not joining us in studio for the uh, for the podcast, but joining us from an airplane and is able to let us know mm-hmm. all of our issues. So. Yeah, we appreciate that. You know, sometimes we need that outside perspective of Brandon's, you know? Is maybe sometimes it's better that he's not in studio. No, it's better. Always better that he's in the studio. When when did we go to the little observatory? Oh boy, twenty thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, it seems about like that. Between twenty thirteen and twenty fifteen. Um. um <laughs> okay. Have a good flight. Have a great flight. <laughs> you. you <laughs> By the time you get the Wi-Fi, you're going to start your descent into L.A. from uh, from Phoenix. So. Ooh, it's only like, what, 30-minute flight? 45-minute flight? Hour, hour flight. and a half? Oh, an hour flight? An hour flight. flight? Okay. Ooh, so. my tea is still warm. Oh, yeah. that's good. Um, yeah, you, you know, all right. So we we went to an old observatory, and like Liz said in the main Ooh. show. Um, the lemon and oh, orange tea is very one, nice. Salt Lake? Okay. Then that's going to be a little bit longer. A couple of hours. Um, yeah, so uh, we we go to Lowell Observatory. This was obviously after Pluto gets demoted. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. and we go, and we're on a tour, right? We had a docent taking us around, right? Mm-hmm. It, it sounds like it's just a, you know, a private tour. But it, no, it, it was, was a, a public, bunch of people. It was a public. <laughs> it was a public tour. Um, we were amongst the, the peoples. Yes. Um, and... The lady was, I think it was a lady. It was a lady, right? Older lady. I think so. Yeah, she was talking about, um, you know, Pluto. Obviously, that's the big thing. Um, she takes us, shows shows us the Blink uh, comparator that uh, Clyde Tombaugh used. Um, and, you know, she goes, and she, she made the statement of, uh, we, we still believe that it's a planet. And um, I... I, it was all I could do to not say anything. I I, I may have like bitten my tongue. I was to probably like, not, it's okay. Um, it's okay. You, you know, what you want is irrelevant. It doesn't matter if um, if it was discovered, mm-hmm. and you you don't get to say that it's not a planet, but. Um, this is not a new shirt. I've worn it many times. My robots live here, sir. I think he wants, uh, he is hoping that I remember the previous secret um, 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 drinking rule that we had where if you mention robots uh, live here um, or that Mars. That was only for the one, that was for that one that, show. That, that one episode. It, yeah. it was that one episode. But yes, Mars is the only planet. Solely inhabited by robots that we know of. That we know of. But definitely in our solar system. That's the key word that we know of. Um, but maybe uh, they're making. Maybe they'll make some canals. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> uh, I mean, they do have digging tools, uh-huh. so they're kind of slow. And they don't dig. Slowly digging. <laughs> yeah. Making a canal. <laughs> um, yeah, but you know, I I realized that. Um, uh, um, I realized that she was trying to make a joke. The problem is, is that the general public might not take it as a joke. Mm-hmm. Um, they might take it um, as... Well, let's be fair. The general public are all like, Pluto should be a planet anyway, because that's what I learned in elementary school. Yeah, Pluto doesn't give a shit. Pluto doesn't yeah. care what you think. Yeah. Um, it never will. My very eager mother... Just served us nachos. Served us, but what's the key? No, just uh, served us nine pizzas. Nine pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. But now it's nachos. Which to, I don't know. Nine pizzas or nachos? I don't know nachos, man. Ugh. 
Wait a minute, you would I like know, nachos? I don't, no, all I'm just saying, like, between pizza it, and nachos. It's a, it's a tough it's one, because I do, one. I do I do mean, love both. I love both, yeah. Uh, I do love both. Um, but also, all right, so we've talked about, we talked about the Lowell Observatory. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you are in Flagstaff, you should go. If you're ever in... Nine popovers. Oh. Okay. All right, cool. I, I don't know... I. I'm not sure I know what a popover is. Well, you like said a it. Hot pocket. You said it as if you knew. Well, yeah. and I was just gonna just go, yeah, this model and I. I don't want to. I don't. Wanna, I don't I explain what a popover is, Jack. Is this an Iowa thing? I think thing? I might know what it is, but I don't. It's not something that I, other than like hot pockets or like a calzone or something. It seems like it's something encased in a bread, like a to- Tostino's pizza roll or something. There you go. Like that could be like a like a popover. Um. Yeah, all right. If you're ever in Black South, go to the little observatory. If you go a little east, 45 minutes. You right, at least the meteor crater on the same trip, right? Yeah, yes. meteor crater. Yes. Um, and I was thinking, um, I was thinking about this yesterday or a couple of days ago. I'm trying to come up with topics for podcasts, and meteor crater actually popped in my head. Well, we, we talked about it, it with our like we've asteroids and impacts and, and stuff like that. But it's really cool to see meteor crater. It is really, it's, it's really, really cool. neat to. Um, and um, I th- oh, I think I what what made me think about it was that we had a picture of us mm-hmm. at yeah. meteor crater, mm-hmm. um, and the the, the selfie mm-hmm. when it wasn't a oh, selfie. We had somebody. Do we have any lol? Because I know I took pictures at lol. Yeah. And um, I was thinking, oh man, I'm, that could be a good show. Um, just to talk about. Mm-hmm. So if you're not if you're not familiar with Meteor Crater is Meteor Crater um, is wasn't it the first crater that was determined to be from an asteroid impact, um, or around one of the first ones? Um, Popovers are the U.S. name for Yorkshire puddings. I don't know what a Yorkshire pudding is other than I've, 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 yeah, Jack, it didn't, I'm going to Google Yorkshire pudding. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I need to visualize this. I need to see what it looks like. You continue your thought, Mike, and I will. Thank you. Um, and so, uh, it's about a mile across. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Um, it's about a mile across and, um, it was, uh, bought by. I'm sure I've seen this on the Great British Baking Show at some point. Uh, Bessinger, right? Didn't he buy it? Was it Yorkshire pudding? Okay, didn't Bessinger? I'm trying to remember the guy who bought it. He was trying to. He was trying Lowell to look. Observatory. Buy. No, Meteor Crater. Oh, oh, uh, yes, Bessinger. Ba- yeah, because it became like Bassinger's Bassinger's Crater, or whatever. right? And so he was trying to find um, the mm-hmm. iron, which was vaporized on the impact. So um, no iron. No iron. Yeah, they were going to mine it. Yeah. They call it a mine. Take a drink. We don't we don't do the drinks on uh, the hangover, but we'll take, take a drink, drink everybody. Um <laughs> a mine. Um yeah, so but uh, that's the second time we've done that reference today. The first time was just in our own personal lives. <laughs> just What was the first was it today? Oh, or yeah, but it was like it wasn't a mine. It was and they call it a what do we do it? Was it uh Yeah, I don't know, but that's like one of our favorite references <laughs> to do. It shows up at least like once a week. So. A week? I like it. No, at once every weeks. Every other day. What? <laughs> well, I mean potentially, yeah. Um I don't know. So yeah, go go to go to Lowell Observatory. It's mm-hmm. it's really cool to go there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's surprising Arizona being known as just a hot hellhole deathbed of a place. Sorry, Braden, being an Arizona native. <laughs> um, but it's like, and I've said this before on the show. Uh, you know, it is surprisingly a hotbed of astronomical research because you got Lowell Observatory, you got Pitt's Peak, Kitts Peak, uh, in Pitt Tucson, Peak. Pitt Peak. Kitts Peak in Tucson, you have Mount Graham or Mount Wilson or, no, Mount, uh, or, like, uh, Mount Graham. 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 Mount Wilson's going to be in, in California. California. Yeah, the, like, Mount Graham telescope or something there. Um, um, yeah, but ASU, ASU is big. U of A. Yeah, it's not, it's not just telescopes, though. ASU is they putting, have the mission to and, and U of A are putting 
equipment on to, mm -hmm. um, you know. U of A makes the mirrors for thing. telescopes. He, underneath like, the football stadium. James Webb. They did James Webb. Did they do James Webb? Oh, Webb? no, no, no. They did, uh, didn't they? I don't think they did James Webb. They did, may uh, have. Um, I don't think so. They may have. But they, they, they have done... They've done mirrors, and then, uh, but it's all up underneath the football stadium, uh, which is kind of cool uh, to think about. But um, football on top, science on the box. Yeah, <laughs> so the football on top pays for the science on the box, <laughs> um, yeah. at least hopefully. But uh, uh, yeah, Arizona's got a lot of lot of great stuff, but Flagstaff doesn't get really hot. No, Flagstaff is because of the higher elevation, yeah, so it actually has feet. seasons. It actually has seasons and mm -hmm. sees snow and a lot uh, of snow. It's, it's beautiful up in Flagstaff. Yeah, it's not just the asphalt jungle of hell that is Phoenix. I mean, I, I could have lived in Flagstaff. Yeah, Flagstaff would. When happen. when I was in Arizona. Yeah. Uh, but now that I'm out of Arizona, I don't. No. 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 So I don't even understand why Ron's going to Arizona. I mean, but to, but to be honest, though, I mean, to work at Kitt Peak yeah, would be, be really cool. That'd be pretty cool. Um, um, yeah, we've also gone to Kitt Peak. So if you ever have Kitt a chance Peak to go to cool. Arizona, go north a couple of hours, and you'll hit uh, Flagstaff and go to a little observatory. But if you go south, it's like three hours because it's like, what, an hour, hour and a half south of Tucson? Um, yeah, because Kitt it's Peak. in a remote, high elevation location. Thank you, Percival Thank you, Lowell. Percival Lowell. Um, you can go to Kitt Peak, and they, they do have uh, nighttime tours. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You you have to follow... Um, a lead vehicle, because you can't vehicle. turn your lights on. Can't because turn your people lights are on. doing astronomical research. Because they're doing research. real research. Yeah. Um, there, and, um, you know, it's really cool to, to go and see. And you use telescopes at night. Note to Percival Lowell. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Unless it's a radio telescope, and then you can use it during the day because you're not looking through shit. Yeah, but. <laughs> uh, it, just, it depends, on, it depends <laughs> on what you're looking if at. If you're using an optical telescope, probably best to be at night, unless you're doing solar observations, which Kit Peak actually has a, a big... Is it, it? It's not... Did they tear it down? Is it still... No, no, I don't think it's torn they, down. Because they had a they had big, the big solar telescope that... Yeah, and, it, and it, um, it's like a mirror that reflects the sun's image down. We went and saw I that, didn't we? We did, and when you we could like Are look you inside look at it. Pictures? No, because oh. I because well, I remember reading something about funding for it mm. or something, and so um, I I wasn't sure if it was still um. Yeah, you have to have like glasses, right, to look at the image, um, it being reflected down, right? Yeah. You gotta put on glasses. Um, yeah, obviously it was certain... decommissioned in 2017 uh, and is being converted to the Noor Lab Windows on the Universe Center for Astronomy Outreach. Oh, nice, cool. That's what Ron is. That's Ron. Is that Ron's that's doing? what Ron is doing. I think that because I know he's got the job with the like Noor Lab or something. I think. Um. So that's cool, but the telescope, I don't know how well this will, but this is a really cool shot at night, but that, that triangle shape, that's the telescope building right there with the, and then and obviously the Milky Way. Uh, projects the image of the sun down. Yeah, so I mean, that was really a, it was used to study the structure of sunspots as well as sunspot spectra. Um, it's a 110 foot tall, 26 foot diameter platform that supports a mirror that reflects light down a 200 foot long concrete optical tunnel. Both the tower and the light tunnel stand freely inside water cooled protective concrete casings. It's gotta be cool. <laughs> and they shelter the telescope, tel telescope, telescope, <laughs> telescope. Is that a helicopter? That is a helicopter. It, okay, continue. Weird. From mountaintop winds, uh, utilizing a square form tilted at a 45 degree angle. All right, so when a helicopter shows up... I'm sorry, I'm just going to look out the window. Yeah, um, we, we, we never hear, hear helicopters. The only time that we hear helicopters is... Oh, yeah, it's like a... Is it a, wa is it a water one? No, it's like black. Okay, well... Black Hawk Down, everybody. It's like a, a military helicopter? No, it doesn't. It anyway, doesn't anyway, um, the, the helicopters that we would see that would show up would be when there are fires 
um, in the area and they are bringing water to dump on them. But we've had mine. plenty of water dumping naturally from the sky over the past week. So Yes, yes we, we had a lot. Um, so don't need the uh, helicopter. Uh, oh, Jack, Jack said it was part of a Bill Nye episode, the, the Kit Peak thing. Is that what you're referring to, Jack? Um, it's a... Uh, Anyway, it's really cool. They do, um, I went up there to Kit Peak. We've gone up there a couple times. Um, but I went up there uh, by myself because I had gotten through uh, work. At, at, uh, a, uh, I got to do like an astrophotography seminar there. So it was like a weekend up there uh, learning astrophotography and, and everything. And it was really fun and it was really cool. We, so and we, we had to do some night use, stuff. And we use what, what you learned to take pictures. Of I, try, I, I tried to, yeah, I tried to, but... I didn't have like the best equipment at the time. Right. Oh, Kit Peak, Kit Peak itself, yeah. So, cool. Yeah, so check out Kit Peak. We're just promoting all the, uh, you know, observatories and just hanging. Yeah, out it'd be over. nice. It'd be nice if Oregon. Had, I bet. It, well, Oregon has that observatory. We have not been to it, but um, you, is it in Eugene? No, 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 no. It's it's on your parents' side of the Cascades. Oh, um, they have well, they have that Sun River. Um, yeah, in between one well, no, but isn't that at the restaurant? No, this is the no, no, there no. was an observatory Sun between Rivers. Ben. Yeah, Sun River. Yeah, and the restaurant was Burns. just a, a, a restaurant <laughs> with, but it had a the te- with a telescope on top yeah. that people can look through, um, uh, which is cool actually. Well, oh God, it's uh. I have the sticker on my car from the restaurant, but it's a restaurant in Bend, and they have a telescope on top, uh, and they'll do night viewings through their telescope. Uh, but not tonight. And it's a and it's and they make their own beer as well. Um, uh, not but no, like beer and scopes. but Sun River has a, an observatory, and they do night viewings. Um, but there was something I think around Eugene or Roseburg um, that there was a. Uh, I think an observatory, but I can't remember what it is. We'll have to look it up. Yeah, and, but and you know the thing out. is, is they're going to be really affected by the weather. Or is that now. some community college or something? I don't, right. I don't know. But I'm I not mean, saying now go check it out. Right, but. Well, yeah, I mean, but um, west of the Cascades and west is just rain for well, half the year. Which um, is why it's a good thing to be in Arizona. Well, fine, that's you're going to get weather in the winter months. Yeah, but still not as well. They're going to get it this year because of El Nino. So I'm not so sure that there's going to be a lot of, um, oh, and the Naval Observatory is up near Lowell. It, I think it's actually at Lowell. The Naval, what do they do? Naval stuff? Take pictures of stars for warships. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, um, because we had, um, uh, when, when this was before you were at Science Center, um, uh, we had, uh, worked with. Uh, an astronomer at ASU whose research centered on um, uh, basically how big galaxies become big galaxies, mm-hmm. and it basically is the merger of smaller chum, galaxies. Chum, 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 yeah, chum. is that uh, is that by chance called? Is that called galactic cannibalism? Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, and I didn't want to do the show. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but we did it and, um, and as soon as the show was done, I don't even think the show was done, but it was almost done. He, uh, left ASU and went up to the Naval Observatory up in Flagstaff. And so it's either associated with NAU or with Lowell. I bet. But Lowell is where they had the research. Yeah. I don't know if... Um, but, but yeah, but he went up there to do that Hmm. and I don't know what, I guess he was concentrating on galaxies. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm not sure what the, what the Navy does with observatories. In the Navy. (laughs) We Um, look at stars. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, they chart stars for, you know, navigation on the high seas. (laughs) Okay. First of all, they probably use satellites at this point. Uh, but second of all, the stars years. haven't moved. No, I mean they move. Well, they move, but, but not, in, not in anybody's recent lifetime. Yeah, and anybody, and not in anybody who's alive now, or their grandparents' lifetime, or yeah. their great grandparents' lifetimes. Yeah, and so, <laughs> but but you know the um, the Pope has an observatory down in Tucson. Wait. Yep. In 
Now, I thought you were going to end the sentence at observatory. The Pope has an observatory. I'm like, all right, yeah. sure, I can see that in the Vatican. They have their own little observatory. Oh, it's the Vatican observatory. So that they can see their, you know, the <laughs> eye of God and shit. But they have a Vatican observatory in Tucson? Mm-hmm. Do they have it, other ones elsewhere? Or is this just mm, a sure random do. ass thing? No, it's run, um, it's run by monks. And wait, wait, a Vatican observatory is run yeah, by monks? Jesuit monks. They run it. Are those Catholic? Yeah, they're Catholic monks. Jesuit monks are Catholic monks. And and so they run the observatory. And uh, when Dorrance Plantain first opened um, back in 1997, so it was late 90s, um, oh, what was his name? Brother Guy something. Brother um, Guy? Yeah, and he Love would come guy. up and he would give talks in the in the plantarium and um it was um i mean they're doing legit research it's not like it's not a it's not they're not trying it's not, to a, prove, it's not like a ken ham kind of a, a no they're not trying to prove that the universe is six thousand years old mm-hmm. they're not doing that kind of bullshit and um they will legit tell you that they're doing legit science and they are and legit observations and there is the undercurrent of we're looking at the beauty of god's creation that kind of stuff but uh but they're doing uh legit research um and it's run by the uh run basically basically it's run by the vatican i mean that all approve that use of tithes Mm -hmm. tithes can go towards astronomical research yeah and you know it's not they weren't coming at it from a we need this to prove our worldview. Um, it, it was legit science. So whereas Ken Ham and the Creation Museum in Kentucky, wherever the fuck it is, um, and the Institute for Creation Research, which just makes me laugh, um, they're all about proving that the universe is 6,000 years old. Yeah. And you can't do it. You can't do it. No, because um, it's all, you, already been proven it's not. <laughs> yeah, you have to suspend. It's called carbon dating, people. <laughs> yeah, um, and they want to say that, like, you know, um, like the Grand Canyon was created in a flood and all this kind of stuff. And it was, just, and it's just like, you know, if there's a flood, first of all, it was raining a lot. And so... If there was a flood, this global flood, sure, you might get some gullies that are created, but eventually the way it's described well, in the book you. and by Ken Ham and all these people is where you had to have a freaking boat. I mean, I, but a canyon, you know, water road, I mean, that's a concentrated point of water that's not... Yeah, and so um, you're not going to get canyons. You're, you're going to get different geological features for a global flood. Um, and, uh, but they try to say that the Grand Canyon, also in Arizona, is perfect proof that they're... What about Mars' is Grand Canyon? Well, you know, Noah wasn't there. <laughs> so, uh, um, That's why nothing lives on Mars, because there was no Noah to build a boat on Mars. I know, right? And they all, for they Mars' all died global away. flood. Uh, uh, but also, Ken Ham says that um, dinosaurs and people live together. So I, he's clearly not watched Jurassic Park because you know what happens? Not good things. Dinosaurs yeah. are not great for humanity. Right. Um, the lawyer sitting on the toilet uh, just describes everything, how, yes. how humanity would end up. When, um, we wouldn't even be able to get to the point to build toilets. No, no, we wouldn't. Um, uh, but they also say that like everything was vegetarian until Eve took a bite of the apple. But an apple is a fruit. Yeah, but Shouldn't you know, she have eaten, tried to eat the snake? But Jesus was like, hey, don't eat the apple. Well, it was God. Uh, Jesus wasn't Jesus yet. Um, and so... Um, <laughs> humans are snakes. Yeah, humans are like snacks. Humans are like little cheeses. They're little for, finger foods. They are little finger foods. They're little pigs in a blanket. <laughs> little pigs, little humans in a blanket. Let's just chomp them all except, up. Except the, the, the dinosaur just can't get the it through The T-Rex can't do it. But the raptor, they just the use that, the freaking to- Although velociraptors were like tiny. 
<laughs> but still. But a blanket. Um, uh, oh, shit, what was I saying? Something about Kendigan. I don't know. I, uh, it, and dinosaurs. It's not a, I don't know. Uh, but, you know. Not going to happen. <laughs> I, I mean... I mean, I would love to see Chewy on the outside, Crunchy on the inside. They wouldn't even, they, their jaw power wouldn't, it's not even feel the bones. It'd be like, just they like. They wouldn't. <laughs> they wouldn't. It'd yeah. be like eating pudding. Pudding. Um, Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would love to see a dinosaur. Um, but. Uh, oh, I know what it was. It was. I'm talking about Eve. She ate the oh, apple. Oh, right, right. That's right. Everything was. Why women are the root cause of all the world's and evils. Everything was vegetarian. Uh huh. And Eve takes a bite of the apple. Uh huh. God's like, uh huh, uh huh. An apple a day, though. Yeah, I know. Keeps God away. <laughs> and I gotta eat more apples. <laughs> um, um, and then the, you, you basically it's the demise of the universe and you know um, maybe don't things... have the apple where people are hungry and then and then <laughs> animals start eating animals women start having pain in childbirth and you know periods happen and all that kind of stuff it's all because it was all because eve took a bite that seems pretty ex- fucking extreme to me for an apple yeah. of knowledge you know I know, right? So, if one of my kids did something that um, that I asked them not to do, and they did it anyway, um, I would not be like, "Okay, you're gonna have painful childbirths now. You're gonna have painful periods." But you- it's Adam's fault anyway because we're part of his ribs. So <laughs> take that. <laughs> It makes no sense. It makes yeah. absolutely zero. It's bonkers. It's a bonkers. That's wasn't, why it's called a myth. That's he, why it's a creation story. Wasn't, wasn't Adam there? He was there, wasn't he? He's he probably was, like, hey, don't don't eat that apple. You're not supposed to eat that apple. And we're like, we're fucking hungry, man. All right? I'm going to eat this fucking apple. Yeah, the snake told me to eat the apple. God, yeah, the apple. I eat the snake. <laughs> to grill that thing up, you know? <laughs> well, it's... Um, it was the demise of humanity at that point. People stopped living. No, I can't say that. Um, I was going to say people stopped living for 800 years, but like, no, it was 800 years old when he died. It's like, seriously, really? I, why would you want to be 800 years old when you die? I mean, Yoda, I mean, he was like pretty a, spry. But if I'm like not aging though, or like if it's a vampire situation, but I can still go out in the sun or something, but even that, you know, sun can't You know, sparkle. <laughs> absolutely not Liz would be a sparkly absolutely <laughs> not you be sparkly I will burst into flames and become an embrous pile of ashes afterwards would you be a vampire would you all right if you had to pick I mean Halloween just uh happened right yeah if you <laughs> We need a Twilight Marathon. Um, she said episode. <laughs> no. We, we do, we do, we uh, do. I, I wanted to have, when we were at your parents' last, mm-hmm. Twilight was on. I really wanted to have it playing. When you came down <laughs> the stairs, I just saw it would be so funny. Anyway, if you had to pick a quote-unquote monster, um... To uh, don't yeah, so we'll like eight uh, we'll clockwork orange it, so we'll we'll no. we'll tie Liz to a chair, make her eyes stay open, and have to watch it anyway. If you had to pick a movie, a not a movie, a monster from you know, like, uh, like you know, Wolfman or Frankenstein, hey, oh, Frankenstein's that monster, hair management of being a werewolf, yeah, oh, werewolf, that's it. Um, I don't want to ruin that many clothes. Yeah. That's and... a different kind of monthly problem. <laughs> know, Sometimes, right? twice a month. Uh, zombie, vampire, what would you pick? I mean, I, mean, I would definitely kind of pick vampire off. because they're like the elves of the monster world, all right? They look nice. They fucking live in the darkness, which is great. They paint yeah. their fingernails black, you know. Um, they look badass, uh, you know. They sparkle. <sighs> they have no color. Well, they they're don't very, they're have very any white. color. They're I don't. Pale. I you know very what? Pale. I don't tan a whole lot uh, anyway. 
uh, because I just got a lot of white European in me. Um, so, I mean, I would definitely choose a vampire. Now, I would prefer to be more of a nicer vampire, maybe, you know, not callously feeding on humanity. Uh, but the so, girl's got a snack. So, it'd be like, kind of like, uh, <laughs> so it'd be kind of like what we do in the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> I would totally be what we do in the shadows. I would totally be like Nadia and just like, <laughs> just like the cheesiest ass vampire. <laughs> Actually, I'd probably be Guillermo's a vampire, really. <laughs> just well, now trying, that he is, just now trying. That he is. And Brandon would be our familiar. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a plane theater. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I would like try to be like the coolest vampire, but I'd be like so cheesy and dorky as a vampire. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, mean, I try all the time to do the Transylvanian accent, but can't do it. I'm going to suck your blood. Oh wow. Yeah. But I mean, if you haven't seen what we do in the shadows, you really should check it out. It's really that's a great show. Mm -hmm. um, also, our flag means death. Oh. Definitely check Basically that out. Basically anything by Taika Waititi is fucking I, phenomenal. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I know, right? The, do we have an episode of Our Flag Means Death? I think we probably This has do. been the most bizarre... I know we say this every time, most bizarre hangover. <laughs> would you be a vampire as well? I think I would. I don't, you know, a zombie, you got shit falling off. You gotta watch um, You know... Yeah, zombie, you're decaying. You can't fly. You're decaying and you gotta, like, I don't know... I mean, I'm sure brain stays good when you're a zombie, but I mean, it's just a lot of, you know, you either, well, either you move real fast or you move real slow. It can't oh, be one or the other. Oh, it has to be slow. I These, the like, fast World War Z, mm. uh, the fast zombies. zombies. <laughs> um, no, they, no. They, they yeah, shuffle. It's a shuffle. It's a shuffle. I mean, with how my body feels, though, I'm probably more trending towards zombie. Uh, <laughs> probably. You know, <laughs> you know I think. It, all right, so um, the slow shuffle of a zombie mm -hmm. to me is far more terrifying than the fast one because oh, then no. it's just like you're just a fucking cheetah and you caught no, up with me. The fast one's way scarier because at least no. the slow one, you're like, all right, I can think I can probably outrun you. Yes, but you can't. That's the thing is you can't outrun them. They are shuffling. And they are slow. Well, that's every that's every still, serial killer horror movie slasher flick is the right. killer does a slow they walk. Still get you. And you always trip. And then I know, one but, comes out of nowhere. Right, but they still get you. Even on the slow shuffle, they still shuffle up to you and get you. And it it's such a slow you see death coming. And it's not like it's quick. It's slow. You see them coming. The you can't get away. You think that you can get away, but you can't get away. And so it's just more terrifying. Now, 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 okay, if, okay, the zombie apocalypse happens um, and I was bitten or whatever, let me turn into a zombie. I would prefer to uh, turn into a zombie than uh, go out with dignity than die in, uh, with dignity as a human being. Just let me turn into a zombie and, uh, you know, feed on some brains. Yeah, but... Feed some people. Okay, uh, two things. First, um, if you were bitten, I, th your loved ones don't want to see you turn into a zombie. Okay, well then go away. <laughs> Wow. Then move away and leave. Then put me it's out still, in the woods. No, it's still really hard. Drop me off in the woods. No, it'd be really hard um, to package. watch that and to to know that that's what you are. Okay. But, but, well, this is my life and my choice and my body, my choice. Well, it's not really a life when you're involved. Well, right? You're dead. Yeah, but you're still you're moving. You're anyway, you're when, um, okay, so we used to watch Walking Dead, mm -hmm. loved it, and then it went off the rails. Well, yeah, it just, you know, um, but, time. um, they actually had uh, a scientist did just kind of on his own, um, figured out how long it would take all of humanity to become zombies mm -hmm. if the zombie apocalypse mm -hmm. happened. It's something like two months, two or three months. It's not long. 
So this whole thing about, you know, the walking dead and humanity is going to survive, they're not. They're not going to survive. Because there's uh, now, wait, eight <clears throat> trillion people now? Is it up to eight, eight, eight billion? Eight, eight billion. Eight, eight billion. Eight, 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 eight trillion. Eight, 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 eight billion people on the earth, and mm-hmm. a, most of the population are in tightly concentrated areas. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, we're going out fast. I mean, look how fast COVID spread. I mean, the movie Contagion, I can't, I did not. <laughs> I have no interest in watching the movie Contagion because I was like, well, that clearly has happened uh, to a lesser extent than in the movie, but... (laughs) Yeah, Um, and and the whole thing is is, um, the zombie zombie population really doesn't decline. It does a little bit. Well, but not I mean, it depends on what kind of zombies you're talking about. I mean, you got your virus zombies, which like 28 days later, they eventually starve out and die. But, but that's how that's how it is for The Walking Dead. So, the, all right, so The Walking Dead, in the comics, they never say how it starts because they don't want to do that. But um, I think it ended up being that it was like a flu shot. Somebody, somebody eventually said it because all these people just can't accept that this show doesn't talk about how oh, it starts. Yeah, you have to, yeah. And so Kirkman was like, ah, fucking flu shot. He's or like, all right, like it's a virus. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah. But the, the Walking Dead is all about humanity's response to the apocalypse. And, um, and the show actually tells you why it's called The Walking Dead. But yeah, because they're all infected. They're all infected. And... <laughs> Um, and when they all die, they're going to become like zombie. Airborne. And, um, it, I, I don't know. I, I, I loved it because it was more of a story about humanity than it was about the zombies. Yeah. The zombies were just a plot device. Yeah. Now, The Last of Us, that's interesting because it's based off an actual fungus that takes over the mm-hmm. neurons mm-hmm. of, like, ants and shit and controls them to feed and, and you know, uh, procreate and all that stuff. So that's actually, cause I remember curious, I remember watching, you know, a documentary or whatever nature special on that fungi way before last of us came out as a video yeah. game or anything. You yeah. know? And I was like, Oh man, that's the true, like, that's really like a zombie, you know, uh, situation there. So it was really smart that they made the last of us based on that something that terrifying. is actually like real in nature that happens, which it yeah, makes it, it makes it more terrible because now all the, every mushroom I see in the backyard that pops up, I'm like, Oh God, it's gonna, it's gonna <laughs> I gotta get us. these mushrooms. It's gonna, make, it's gonna make us a zombie. But, um, yeah, but also that too is how a, how humanity reacts to mm-hmm. an apocalypse, a, apocalypse situation. An apocalypse. <laughs> um, the end of the world situation, yeah. quote unquote. Um, yeah, but if you know, if I'm going to turn into a zombie, if I'm bitten, let's let me turn into a zombie. I'll take being a zombie. Okay. Yeah, and then it'll be fun to see like how my what my zombie death will be. Oh, you know what? You know, who's no. going to get me and how? You can be like the zombie from um, Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> Yeah, you just keep, you, play video you, you games. Can keep me in the shed and play video. We'll play Elden together. You no, keep we'll me just, in the shed. No, we'll have you be right there. Oh, you'll just train. Well, you'll be on the. You'll be on the couch. Me to the, I don't know if that's good for the dogs. But <laughs> well, you know, yeah, if, I'll be Nick Frost if, and just yeah. If if I'll Leia needs put, a bone, she can just come collar, take your bone. Just chain me bone. up, you know, and let well, me have yeah. room for my controller, and then I'll just because Nick Frost. Tried to bite what's his face, yeah. Um, and, and he so, was like, No, and he was yeah. like, well, Okay, I'll go back to playing, yeah. So that's what we'll do. All right, then you could keep me as a zombie pet, then, Ooh. but also, I don't like pet. Well, what am I at that point? I'm clearly not gonna be your wife anymore. <laughs> no, you gotta take care of me, you gotta, I just gotta feed you, you stuff. gotta feed me, gonna, whoa, you gotta house gotta me. Feed you. You just gotta find, I don't know. Like raw meat? Yeah, I don't know. Go to like the, you know. Yeah, but raw meat. Yeah, or see if they got any donations down at the mortuary or something. <laughs> <laughs> any scraps? Any leftover parts? Any police evidence that they don't need anymore? That they're just gonna throw in the. need to burn the barn. You know? Yeah. Uh, but also, when I die, when my, 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 uh, my, my. Uh, wishes when I die are to be mummified because my dream would be 
to be mummified and then like a thousand plus years from now future archaeologists you know happen upon my mummified body and and hopefully there's no social media left to be like oh she was just a boring regular person um you know but then they can be like ooh, what did this person do you know like that can be like a (laughs) i can yeah i can be like an archaeology find for people in the future but then coming back to life as a mummy that would be fun too yeah I mean, I'll take vampire for sure. For one, just because you're living forever and you just need to drink blood, you know. Would you be the invisible woman? No, because you can't see. Can't see? No, you can't. If you're invisible, you're blind. I learned from you. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, The invisible woman. We don't have to worry about clothes, though. No, you don't. No. Except when, I guess, if you're a woman and you get your period, you still got to plug that up. (laughs) Otherwise, it's just going to be. Well, let's assume that. uh, (laughs) The, whatever makes you invisible will take care of that There's too. just a string floating around. <laughs> and everybody's like, what is that? Just and then the, all the women are like, I know what that is. Like, oh, I know exactly what that is. The woman's got her time. Like, Wait, <laughs> when Wonder Woman goes invisible, could, does she, can she still see? No. No. Anything that's invisible, uh-huh. um, that you become, inv- anytime you become invisible... All right, so the way that you see is that the light mm-hmm. ab- is absorbed by your uh, retina, right? So it goes into your eyes, absorbed mm-hmm. by the retina, and that sends the signal to the brain that allows you to see whatever the fuck mm-hmm. you're looking at. Um, and so if you are invisible, there's going to be two little black dots right uh, you know, at eye level, literally, that is where the invisible person's eyes are because it's absorbing the light. Um, so you don't see through it. It's absorbing the light. And whatever was behind it is absorbed by the eyes. But the eyes are still there. You just can't see them. So they can still see. The invisible person can see. Uh-huh. But you see the invisible person by the fact that you can see the two dots. And so since they are completely invisible, mm-hmm. so you're seeing their retina. So since they are completely invisible, their retinas are not absorbing any light. And so you don't know they're there, um, but it also means that they are blind. 100%. Their retinas aren't absorbing anything. Hmm. The light just passes right through their retina instead of being absorbed by it. Oh. And so it passes through them, allowing you to but see But if it. they can see, you would see their... You would see their two cute. little black dots. Black dots floating in the air. Yeah, and you'd be like, what is that? But meanwhile, they've taken out their invisible knife and they've slashed your throat. And you're dead. I mean, if you're invisible, it doesn't mean you're mean or murderous or angry, oh, right? I mean, you can just they're be murderous. Murderous. invisible. They're murderous. <laughs> All of them are murderous. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be the invisible man. Um, I wouldn't want to be a werewolf. I think a vampire is really the, is, is the way to go. Frankenstein's monster just seems a little too clunky. Well, no, yeah, because then you're just e- even if you're like nice, a, even if you're nice, yeah, but you're still like monster. just a dumb. You're a yeah. you're a dumb. Yeah, you're just like a. Um, what other monsters are there? Zombies. So yeah, werewolves, Frankenstein's monster, mm-hmm. uh, vampires. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, a swamp thing. Oh, a swamp thing. But That's then you gotta live in a swamp. Yeah, I don't wanna live in a swamp. Unless I'm Yoda. There's mosquitoes. <laughs> Dagobah, <laughs> he was kind of hanging out. Uh, uh, what? God, what other monsters are there? I think we covered them all. I mean, we? technically, you know, uh, was it you know, DC's built on a swamp? So really, it's they're all swamp things. So. I mean, who is DC? <laughs> I was making it. <laughs> uh, anyway, oh, although to be fair, a lot of the East Coast is built on swamp land. So oh, it is, yeah. It is. Um, I mean, isn't like all of New Orleans basically just well? It's ready all to like s- below the water table, right? Or what yeah, is that what it is? So they have the levees, that and keep that's all why the water they out. also have the above ground tombs and everything because the water burying people. They <laughs> what were we watching? What did we watch yesterday? We started watching something, right? Where um. Oh, God, it's it, it, it in New Orleans. We watched Haunted Mansion. 
Oh, that's what it was. It yeah, was really we watched the new answer. Disney Haunted Mansion. A ghost. A ghost. Ghosts. Ghosts. I would totally be a ghost. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, I would ghost. totally be a ghost. So it comes down to ghosts or vampires. Really. Yeah. Uh, that's what it boils down Yeah. To. Living forever or living dead forever. But but I would want to be like the UK version of Ghost. So if you if you've seen the, oh, the, the, the show. show Ghost, uh, there's a there's a UK version, there's a US version. Mm-hmm. Like the ones that are in the UK, the, they just seem like fun ghosts. I want to be like them. Well, they all seem like the, I mean the American one is they have fun. They're supposed to be fun ghosts too, but you know. Well, yeah, it's the UK one. It's more fun to watch because they, they have so, an accent. Yeah, they have an accent, but you know. Yeah, I I would like to be a fun ghost, but then also fuck around with people and you know, the poltergeist. You know, what I mean? but you don't want to be like Peeves the poltergeist, where it's just that's all you do. No, no, no. A, occasional post poltergeisting. You know, more more of a fun fun ghost, but you know, just living my ghostly life. So what know? would you do to fuck but around then, with people? Oh, I will just, you know, do things to, you know, give them brief jump scares. I'd just be like, you know, occasional jump scare ghost. I'd be nice and friendly, but then I'd just jump scare people, like new people that came by. You would probably jump whatever. scare yourself, though. Well, I would jump. <laughs> I, would, like, I, I would, would get these I would, people. I would scare myself as a ghost. That is something I would definitely do. I would accidentally haunt myself somehow. I end up haunting, my, like, I would do something and forget that I did it, and then I would get freaked out by it, and I'd be like, oh my god, it's There's haunted. There's a ghost in here. And then you'd be like, yeah, it's you. You, you did, you're the ghost. And I'd be like, all right, that's right. The funniest things ever are when I just, like, walk into a room. That's all I do, is just walk into a room, and, and Liz basically jumps through the ceiling. Um, you come out of nowhere. You're so quiet. I am not quiet. And then quiet. you just appear like nothing. Um, but, you know, like, when Liz walks around, oh, it, yeah. it's I'm, like I'm, a Foley artist in a movie. <laughs> claw, claw, I'm, claw, heavy, claw. Hey, I'm sure Katie can attest to this. I'm heavy-footed, okay? I, I'm a stomper. I stomp. I don't mean to stop. I've tried to walk quietly, but then I don't know how to use my legs when I try to walk quietly, and I walk all awkward. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm heavy footed when I walk around. What an episode this has been. It's been um, it's been fun. It's and been, uh, everybody, <laughs> Katie knows. Katie everybody knows. has to endure oh, us just rambling for the past hour. That's what the hangover is. But but we did learn about personal law. We learned a lot about Percival Lowe. In fact, I'm still, uh, I take after dad. I do take after dad. I take, a, I take after dad for a lot of things. <laughs> Except for my republicanism, which is not a thing in my body. Um, but you know the thing is. Uh, but I do keep the heat low to save I, money. I will be honest. I can respect your dad's republicanism. Um, it, your, your dad's yeah, no, it's republicanism, a fiscal, it's a republicanism is. I think we need to clarify this. Your dad's republicanism is not Trumpism. No, no. Which is no, no. not true republicanism. No, no. Um, and so I can have a conversation with your dad. Yes. And we can agree to disagree. Not yeah. that we've done this, but, you know. Yeah. And so your dad is fiscal republican. Yeah, yeah. But um, anyway, what was I, well, I was saying something before that, and I forget what it was. I don't but, know. Welcome to my world. I don't know what happened. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Uh, I'm still stuck on the whole first observatory built purposefully in a high altitude, cold location, or high altitude location. Yeah. Uh, I I didn't realize it was the first. I didn't realize it was the first. It seems like it shouldn't be because it was, what, 18-something? I would think there would be something the, definitely before then. You know, there's just a few things that I just have have assumed have been around since the Big Bang. And this is one of those <laughs> things. <laughs> oh, you know what? We could be ghosts that haunt observatories. So we would be spectral images. Oh. Some spectroscopy. I see what you did, did there. And on that note, thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed our episode on Percival Lowell. If you saw that, um, if you haven't, I, Check really, it out. I really hope you enjoyed us talking about ghosts zombies and vampires and what we would be i don't even remember the first half of the hangover because it's all been the oh going to the old observatory oh, yeah. if, if you if you happen to be in arizona um definitely check it out um but as always definitely check out your local planetarium 
Um, even if you go visit a new town, um, go to the planetarium because um, goodness knows they need that revenue to mm-hmm. continue mm-hmm. to bring uh, what Percival Lowell has discovered and those amazing stories mm-hmm. and the story of the universe to you. So cheers, everybody. We'll see you in a couple of weeks where we talk about High in the Sky What's up December. In December? Woo! Woo! Cheers, everybody. See you in a couple we'll weeks. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. And uh, as always, vampires don't fucking sparkle. They sparkle. No! This is going to sparkle. Goodbye.